In the previous tutorial, we have prepared black and white MatSQL library. Now we will show you how to make a mosaic with this library. File, open library. Select a file. You may preview library tiles in the dialog window. Press open. Library is opened and ready to use. We need to open the image that we want to mosaic. File, open source image. Select a file. Open. We want to print the mosaic at 30 to 45 centimeters photo paper with every tile 1 to 1 centimeter. That means we need a mosaic 30 tiles wide and 45 tiles height. Drag and resize a cropping frame. You may disable grid for better view. You may use an arrow keys on your keyboard for frame moving. When ready, press the apply button. It's a new project saving dialog. Press save. Please see on the main rendering settings. Distance. Default for distance is 6, which means that Matsako can reuse the same tile image in every sixth cell. Repeat. Default for repeat is auto, which means that Matsako will not count how many times any particular image is used. Usually all you need is just press the render mosaic button. Like this. And, before we could say Jack Robinson with our sweet artificial mechanical voice, mosaic rendering will be complete. Now we will check the enhance radio button and see. Color enhanced by 30 or 40 is quite a safe and not very obvious. It is fine. It can be saved and printed. Our simple tutorial is over. Thank you for attention. Wait, wait, wait. Did you remember that we made mosaic from family photos? Every photo that was collected for this mosaic is a small treasure. Are all of these photos were used? And here our advanced tutorial started. Welcome aboard. Let's check if all of our photos were used. Select from menu mosaic, last mosaic info. Read mosaic statistic. Number of pictures in the library, 446. Unique pictures used, 233. It's only one half of our library. Program thinks that the images from the other half are less suitable for this composition and did not include them in mosaic. We must to said to the program that we want to include all our tiles. Close statistic. Select from menu edit. Preferences. Go to Advanced tab. Check on, show use all picks control. Save preferences. The control is visible now. Check it on, and press render again. Very important note, this method works well only when you have a small library. If the number of images in the library is the same, or more than the number of tiles in the mosaic, you will get very poor looking mosaic. Please remember that. Again, Menu Mosaic, Last Mosaic Info, Number of Pictures in the Library, 446, Unique Pictures Used, 446, Great, All Photos Are Used, Can We Do Something Even More Advanced? Yes, We Can, Select From Menu File, Save Statistic, Enter a File Name, Save, Statistic file will be opened automatically. It said that 446 unique pictures were used, but when we scroll through statistic file, we will see that there are many images that were used only once, and there are few images that were used for 10 times and more. It is unfair to use a photo of grandma from the father side only once, while a photo of grandpa from the mother side is used 20 times. We don't want a family conflicts. We must to limit the maximal number of photo repetitions. Let's try to set up the repeat number to 1. Press render. Error. It is because of that if we want to make not repeated mosaic with 1300 tiles we must have 1300 tile in the library. With our 446 tiles library we had to set up the repeat value to 4. Press render. Also 5 second.
Select from menu file, save statistic. Enter a file name. Save. This time all images are distributed evenly. Most of them used three or four times. Close statistic. It is visible that some tiles were included forcefully. But Matseka has a very good color correction function. Just check on the enhance radio button. Good mosaic. And all images were used. We may use right click menu for final careful inspection of some particular tiles. We need to save mosaic project now. Menu file, save project. Project is saved. In the next tutorial we show how to save a mosaic as a big image file that can be printed or displayed online.